Welcome to the new vlog. This is a very underwhelming start to the vlog. I'm here eating lunch. Um, I had a huge weekend. As you guys would know. I had my birthday party. And setting up for the party. And Mother's Day. And the party was like a huge night. It was a big night. It took a full day to recover. But I woke up this morning feeling starving. So I've made this green salad it's like got brown rice and quinoa as the base it's got um green beans spinach rocket olive cucumber tuna hemp seeds and alfalfa sprouts um and then i also made crispy sweet potatoes so you bake the sweet potatoes in olive oil garlic salt and honey and i use chili flakes and i'm just dropping my food everywhere yum and you make them like crispy in the oven for like 40 minutes. Then I top it with um, sambal, which is like that spicy sauce. Cheese and hemp seeds. I'm like lactose intolerant, but I love cheese. So we're just going to deal with it. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to eat my two-course lunch. And then I'm going to get into some editing and admin stuff today. I'm taking it easy for this Monday. Well, not easy. Just doing like the computer work kind of things. And also editing a vlog. So... This is what is left of my beautiful birthday cake from Miss Trixie Drinks Tea. I'm going to link her account for you guys. It's a chocolate mud cake and it has these like caramel crunchy ball things in between the layers. I also accidentally used my wand to cut the cake on the night. If that's not an indication of how the night went, then I don't know how else to explain it. <laughs> Morning guys, it's Wednesday today. I have a busy day today. I have a little fitting with a really cool brand called Raina Clothing. They do really cool suit sets. Um, I'll try and film some of that. My dog's gone ballistic because the next door neighbors are getting plumbing done. Love it. Um, but yeah, I'll try and take you to that. I don't know how much I can film of that, but we'll see. Then I'm meeting Michelle for lunch and we're shooting a couple of looks. The sun is like all over the place today. to goodbyes and found some cute vintage stuff. Mm. I'll show you when I get home. Stay tuned for that. Uh, but now we're at the Misha Warehouse sale in Richmond. So I didn't end up vlogging the rest of yesterday. We went to the Misha Warehouse sale and I picked out this really pretty dress. I'm just going to put my camera somewhere. It's really, really pretty black. Um, it looks like it's see-through, but it's not. It has like an underline. Underlay thing. A lining, sorry, I couldn't find the word. Um, but yeah, it's really nice and it has these like little diamante stud things. I think I'm gonna wear it to the wedding I have on the weekend with like hot pink heels and a pink bag. That'd be cute. Um, but yeah, so today I'm filming a really fun reel, uh, sort of like a outfits I'd wear to fashion week kind of reel. And yeah, tonight we're just going to like get some stuff for the wedding on the weekend, just some like supplies. Um, but I'm trying to toss up what I should do with my hair this weekend. Whether I should have it like sleek and straight like this. Or like tied back or curly. Undecided. Okay, well this outfit is slaps. This hat is by Emma Bruin. I'm like so obsessed. Colleen Estrada Rezik Studio. By far... And then we invested in these little Balenciaga babies. I this is the most random vlog ever. Okay, so I just finished shooting this crazy glass and set. It was like a bit of fun. I'll show you a picture. I put this like vintage filter on it and it's so much fun. I love this hat so much. I don't want to take it off ever. 
That's what it looks like with the vintage filter on. And I thought it was like really cool and like 90s and kind of like a festival or kind of like when you used to have sleepovers at your friend's house when you were like little and dress up and take fun pictures on disposable cameras. Anyway, I shot a reel. Oh my God. I really envy the people who are like, I'm gonna put this piece of clothing away once I shoot it, not... I'm just walking away. I'm gonna go make food. And then I'll come back to this. It's like raining. So... Oh, actually, no, stop right now. It's so dark. Literally, the light just disappeared. Um, so what I'm thinking of making for lunch today... I found... I'm obsessed with sweet potatoes lately. I found these sweet potato noodles at Collis and I thought I would make like a chicken broth noodle situation. There was chicken stock somewhere. Just in my robe. Well, this is the set. I'll show you. I would so wear this to a festival if I went to festivals. It's like flares. I love it. It's cute, but for now we're going to close it up because it's frozen. <laughs> that? Okay. Do we have chicken stock? We can make chicken stock. We'll make chicken stock. Okay. So it says to cook them. Add noodles to boiling water and cook for eight minutes. Huh. Well, this is how to make a... Stir fry, I just want noodles in noodle water. <laughs> Has anyone seen that episode of Friends where Phoebe makes Monica noodles? She's like, I don't have chicken stock, so it's just noodle water. Um, anyway, so I'm just gonna make it in a small pot with like a chicken stock cube. Where's the pot? Okay, I found it. Um, yeah, so I made that slow-mo reel today. And if you guys, saw the other reel that I had on my feed, the slow-mo one. <sighs> it was a disaster. So I filmed it twice. The first time I wasn't in the frame properly. And the second time I was like, oh my God, I nailed it. These outfits are immaculate. And, and then I like checked all the videos when I went to edit and they were all blurry. So if you've watched it on my feed, I'll insert it here. It's not meant to be blurry. It's meant to be clear, but we just posted it anyway. Um, so I'm excited because this one, this time I used a ring light so that could like focus on me better because maybe it was too dark and I also like just flipped my room upside down so I could like check the video while I was filming it um yeah so I'm gonna edit that today as well and um post it I guess that's what I do um but yeah let's make chicken noodle water I got chicken stock cube I'm gonna use half because last time I used a full one and I like there was so much salt in it that I just dried up like a prune. <laughs> this is the most unnecessary knife to cut it to stop you, but let's cut it in half. And I'm just putting my pot on to boil. They look like this, like really thin. Also ASMR. I discovered ASMR for the first time in lockdown last year. My boyfriend's little sister introduced me. I thought she was a weirdo, but then I got hooked to the eating ASMR. <laughs> and everyone else thought I was gross. No one in my family likes it. I love it. Oh, they're very hard. Yeah, no, I'm gonna break my teeth. Look guys, I don't know if I was meant to add something to this. It does not look amazing. It probably just tastes good. <laughs> My mum thinks it looks like shit. <laughs> the noodles are yum though. And it's chicken flavoured. <laughs> it's funny that I love watching MasterChef and that meal was the exact opposite of a MasterChef. That was bland. I don't recommend you make it, but the noodles are yummy. If you use the noodles in like a stir fryer, that would be good. Like a ramen, not just with chicken noodle water. <laughs> I just had a 
what a message. I just had a shower and I like exfoliated my whole body. Um, like the, those like exfoliate, shave, moisturize showers where like you get ready for a, an event. And then I gave myself a mini like facial. You can't really tell. It looks kind of shiny, but also red. Um, I'm gonna run through what I use tomorrow because it's like getting dark here. You can't really see. And I also have to run off to the shops to try and find earrings for Saturday. And also to just buy some like random things but yeah i'll be back to tell you what i used in my little self-care routine so it's friday today i look like an absolute zombie so i've been all around the place it's friday morning um i went to the shops last night and just today quickly to grab some more stuff for the wedding i have tomorrow it's phil's cousin who's getting married um it's gonna be so beautiful but yeah i should get them get some stuff for my hair and like some last minute makeup things and like you know earrings for the dress um which i'll show you when i get home i'm excited i love wedding things okay i'm home i'm putting you on my makeshift stand oh my god cool that'll do that'll do don't care um okay so yes as i was saying tomorrow i have a wedding and last night and today i went to the shops just to go grab some like supply things so as promised, I will show you what I got. So I bought these lashes to wear tomorrow. They're from Mecca Cosmetica. They're like a really natural looking lash. And they sort of, I always do winged liner. So I wanted something that's going to be like a cat eye. I also bought this like little perfume thing that you can like carry in your handbags. Um, it's the Floral, Floral Street Wonderland Peony. It smells so nice. So good. Also from Mecca. And then I bought earrings. So these are not obviously to wear with anything. But they're just really cute. <laughs> they're mushrooms. Cute, yeah? From Colette. They were like six bucks. Um, anyway. So, I bought these because I think they will go really well with the dress. Where is the dress? Oh, it's right now. So, this is the dress. And I feel like they'll go. Or, I really love these ones. I love them. They're like colourful, bejeweled beautiful things but i don't know if they'll really go also bought this like outrageous yellow one which could be fun on my ear because i'm gonna do like slick back hair what do you reckon these i'm not wearing they're just cute and they're like five dollars like from lovisa cute also bought these little bracelets they're pink because my shoes are gonna be pink um and there's also those little ones that could be cute and match the shoes it doesn't really focus though does it yeah, there you go. So, yeah, I have a few <laughs> earring options. Phil was with me and he's like, why are you buying five pairs of earrings? I'm like, options, love, options. I don't think I've shown you guys on the vlog, but this is the dress I'm wearing to the ceremony during the day. I love it so much, I might just wear it all day. But it's matching, like, they have, like, an archway with flowers, and the flowers are this colour, so I thought it would match perfectly. Um, but yeah, it's so pretty. has, like, a lot going on up here. So that's why I didn't know if chunky earrings would be the go. But, like, even they look kind of cute with this because it's got that, like, hot pink stone in there. But then I also think these, yeah, they're probably the best match. Other stuff that I got, because I feel like all girls do this when there's an event, we just go and, like, restock on stuff that we need. So for my hair, I got these, like, clips. I've seen Matilda Jerf use them and she does like the blowout and she like clips the curls and they just turn out amazing but I just need them in general for when I'm doing my makeup like to clip my hair away clip it aside also got these clips because I'm going to attempt to do my own hair tomorrow see how well that goes I got some beauty blender sponges this style I don't know what this is for they were $2 from Kmart and I was like let's just get some I also got this little one for my concealer. I've never used a mini one before. Highlight, hard to reach, conceal. I'm guessing that's what they're for. We also got a poor little hairspray to put in my bag. We're a fan of mini portable things. And I also got a portable charger. This is also a fashion week necessity because I feel like my phone's just going to die on me. Um... It's cute and pink though. Let's suss it out. Oh, it's cute. It's cute and pink. I like it. Go charge that up. Okay, I have applied my tan. 
I use this tan here, L Effect. Focus on me. So I use the L Effect tan. I use it because I have olive undertone skin. I also put some on my face, which I have to rinse off. So if I look really weird, I apologize. Just bear with me. Um, I use this one because I don't want a really dark tan, an unrealistic tan, or like a dramatic over the top tan. I just want like a natural kind of glow, like I've been in the sun. And I'm also drinking a tea because does anyone else freeze their ass off when they tan? I'm so cold, so I made a tea in my Yosemite mug that I got in America two years ago. Yosemite? Yosemite? I don't know. So this is the tan there, you can't really see it because it's like not focusing. Um, but let's start off with the in shower scrub. So I gave myself a really nice like exfoliate kind of whole body exfoliation. So I used the Ola Henriksen Lemonade Soothing Scrub. This one is just so, it smells freaking delicious if you've never tried this give it a go it was so nice it doesn't like lather up or like go soapy so it's just like really nice to just scrub the other one that i use this is a new one the other one i have is in the shower is the mecca athletica body boot camp skin perfecting body wash this one is so so great it does like foam up really nicely so you feel like you've like had a good like wash kind of thing. It's got um, an AHA and PHA blend too. So it's really good for just like stripping dead skin and just highly recommend that one. Also great if you work out and like you shower after you work out. This is really good for like preventing like rashes. I always get a rash after I work out. Love that for me. I obviously cleanse in the shower most days. I use Fenty Skin. I use Total Cleanser. It's like a remove it all cleanser. It's meant to be for like after makeup, but I just love it. It's a really nice gentle cleanser. Great for like soft skin. It doesn't like dry you out, just cleanses. So after the shower yesterday, I tried out this um, new, it's a banana and coconut nourishing superfood body cream by Brio Geo. Brio Geo? How cute is the packaging? It's cute, yeah. Um, it smells delicious, and it's just like sort of a body cream. Um, it doesn't, a little bit does not go a long way with that one. It's sort of more like a concentrated area. Whereas this one here, the Josie Marin Whipped Argan Oil, I also use on my body after the shower. Um, it lathers and like just rubs in really nicely. Um, oh, this smells so good. If you've never tried this one, I highly recommend just buying it to try it. Um, but yeah, this one is much more like, what's the word I'm looking for? Spreads easier and it's just nicer to massage into the skin. Okay, so after the shower on my face today, um, yesterday, I used the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Cleanser. This one's a foaming wash and this one's a treatment and they're just really great. I'll try and focus on them. Um, for just like removing a layer of dead skin, I use it maybe once a week just to like clear up congestion and just give yourself that nice baby smooth skin. My camera's not focusing on me. There we go. So yeah, I used that one. Then I went in yesterday. I do this maybe once a month and I get these little blade thingies and I, um, like stretch the skin and shave away all like the little dead skin and the bum fluff and it just makes your makeup stick to your face so well i forgot the word for it is it dermaplaning i'll put it here i'll remember the word when you do this i apply a layer of like moisturizer to my skin and then go in and shave it because it just makes it way easier um to sort of just remove that bum fluff and that dead skin if you go in on dry skin you might cut yourself so be careful as far as skincare goes, I've been loving the Barbara Sturm, Barbara Sturm Hyaluronic Serum. It makes my skin feel so amazing. I'm actually obsessed with it. I also use the Drunk Elephant Bee Hydra when I don't have this one. This is a new one I've been trying. Moon Juice. Is it focusing? Um, the Acid Potion Resurfacing Exfoliator. I used it today. I loved it. It was not harsh at all. It didn't burn my skin, but it left my skin really shiny and feeling super clean. Okay, my camera just died. Um, so anyway, as I was saying, I really hate this light fixture. It's so annoying. I'm going to try and prop you up somewhere that you can't see it. Yeah, this is not happening. And then at night time, really all I'm using is the <laughs> same word, the Biosance 
squalane squ squalane i can't think of any other way you would say that um squalane and lactic acid resurfacing night serum don't put this on after you do this i've done that and it burnt so much anyway as i was filming this little thing I literally just got a package from Etoile Collective. They do like really cool makeup and skincare organizers. And I'm just in the process of finishing up organizing one. And then I'll show you because it's really cute. So this is what Etoile has sent me. How cute. It's a, I've already jam packed it with all my skincare and stuff. It's all in color order, of course. I want to make everything facing outwards. That'd be cute. So I've got like bigger, heavier stuff on the bottom. And then, like, serums and lighter stuff on top. Isn't it cute? I'm pretty sure it's just called their skincare holder. And it's super easy to assemble yourself. Highly recommend. This is a great little storage tip. I had all this stuff, like, in these two drawers. So that's really good to get them out of there. And then the second thing they sent me was their 3XL brush holder with a lid. So it, like, keeps them, like, safe from dust. So I have organized mine, um, like face brushes, foundation brushes, and concealer brushes. All of my like blush and bronzer brushes and highlighter brushes, and then here are all my eye brushes. Here is just like a travel brush and like a hair tie randomly. And then in here, I can't open it because that little beauty blender is stuck. But I've got some beauty blenders, some of those like smaller kabuki type brushes. A little eyebrow brush. And this one here, I've already used it. It's like dirty, I have to clean it. But it's from Laura Mercier and it's like the nicest shape ever. I have to go wash it actually for tomorrow. But yeah, cute. It is the day of the wedding. It's Saturday. I tried to do my own blue wave with that GHD volumizing hot brush. I'll put a picture of it here. Um, it kind of worked out okay. I've got a hair in my face. Also got in some Mecca. Cosmetica full flushes. Don't know if I did it right, but I'm really excited. I'm gonna film the rest of today on my phone only because I can't fit this camera in my little handbag. I'm bringing bringing this little Balenciaga baby with me today. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be such a beautiful day. I cannot wait. I will see you soon. <laughs>